Well, they come out every year during monsoon. Colorado River toads, also known as the Sonoran Desert Toad. A few have already been spotted, but as the rain comes in, we'll be seeing a whole lot more. A 13 News reporter Shelby Slaughter has this reminder. These creatures can be deadly for some of our pets. What comes with more rain? The short answer, more Colorado River toads. Right now, they're buried deep in the desert, like right here at Pantana Wash. And when the showers start coming down, these guys start coming out, posing a risk to your four-legged friends. Take a good look at this guy right here, because you'll soon be seeing a lot more of these Colorado River toads here in the desert. Chelsea Richardson, an animal handler with the Animal Expert, says, while we still have a couple more weeks until monsoons kick up, it's good to be aware now. So these guys will come out generally during monsoon season and what awakens them from their slumber is a few days of continuous rain. She says these toads are already slowly starting to pop up, but primarily spend most of their life underground. And when they do come out, it's kind of a race to eat as much as possible, find a mate, um, and then go back under before the uh, before the you know soil dries back up and the rains stop. But it's when they come out that they cause some hazards, not to humans, but to our dogs. Really, it's just remaining vigilant. The easiest way to ID our Sonoran toad is these large warts and lumps behind their necks and on their legs. She says the white milky toxin comes out of their glands here on their neck and their legs and those toxins are deadly if a dog gets it in their mouth. Some of the initial symptoms of toad poisoning is excess saliva, foaming at the mouth, rapid eye movements, uh, vomiting, diarrhea, um, you know, lethargic behavior, twitchy muscle spasms, things like that. If your dog comes into contact with a toad, Richardson says it's important to act fast. You can do this by washing their mouth out excessively for upwards of 30 minutes. Um, these guys do actually end up putting more dogs in the vet and the ER than the rattlesnakes do. Richardson says there's ways to avoid that happening to your dog this summer and it's called the Colorado River Toad Avoidance Training. If you'd like to schedule your dog for the Colorado River Avoidance Training, you can find that link up on our website. Reporting from the Pantana Wash, I'm Shelby Slaughter, 13 News.